What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Knowledge Bomb. Boom! What's up? Episode 459. Elite trainer, Zach Matheny, still in the house. 4AM crew member, bad motherfucker. He's going to show us some Nordics. Now, we're using the hammy strap. Yep. Zach, how do you set it up? So, here, one thing you need to do, I promise you, if you get a little tighter, it's going to help you out. So make sure it's not wiggling around. I like to put the uh, where the belt's at, right on the side of the bench. I have a little leverage there and I can crank it down, all right? As you move the band up to the calf, right, it's gonna make it a little easier. So if you wanna challenge yourself a little more, have it closer to that ankle, right? Okay, I'm set up, it's firm. If you want to challenge yourself, squeeze the hips through, right? We're taking a low back out, and now we're extremely isolated through the hamstrings and glute. Okay, my hips, once again, squeeze through, come down, slow it down as much as you can. Just go, okay? And there's only two people I've ever seen do it this easy, and Zach does it the easiest. The other one's actually AG. AG's yeah. really AG's good at this too. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. Now, scalability, Zach, I'm gonna grab one of these. Sure, ones. sure. So if you obviously don't have hamstrings like Zach Matheny, which is probably the case, the case. Yeah. <laughs> you can scale them with, uh, with mats, and then as you get better, which is what I had to do, so I could do them all the way, is then take the mats away. Yeah, right, right. it just shortens the range of motion, right? Yeah. And we can also add an emphasis of exploding off the mats, right? So yeah. I was a little more strict, right? We can explode up there, too. That's you just training the bump. concentric a little bit. Yeah, yeah just change a little bump. And then what, what you've noticed, Zach, is that you like to do these after you deadlift yeah. and squat? Or what yeah, do you, you yeah. Do I, I, mean, yeah, typically twice a week. And like even this, so, and I'll change the intensity. Last week, I only did two sets, but I went to complete the other. I did like six to eight reps as slow as I could and just tax them, right? I, fo I don't even focus necessarily on the reps sometimes, but how tax can I get them? So it's just control, 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 okay? Right, time under tension here, okay? And sometimes I'll even use these as a warm up just to get them activated a little more. I'll tend to shorten the range of motion. Don't want to tire them too much out there. Well, and Coach there. Storms, uh, the Florida State strength coach, just did an article on Max Effort about doing these up to three times a week. Yeah. And he's only had one soft tissue injury yeah. in the entire And this is something we don't even talk about in the pod, but these are so health, great for your knee health, right? But we just try to pull fucking seminar. <laughs> exactly. Knowledge Ball episode 459. 